Rumor floating around. Yeah. Keyshawn Davis, Jose Pedraza, December 9th. And I think that's the Miami area. First, I want to say this, man. I'm about to rumble Al, Eddie, and, and Bob, man, for throwing three really good fights on the same goddamn day, man. You're killing me. Yeah, they at war. <laughs> um, I think Keyshawn will be able to tell us a lot about himself in this fight. We just seen him in a pretty good fight with Naya Albright. Um, but Naya Albright is closer to his age. Mm. So he got about that same energy. But now you got Pedraza who's battle tested, but he's a little slowed down from, you know what I mean, the fights. He got 30 plus fights. So, yeah, he's seen, he, he seen guys like Keith Sean before, but we don't know what he got left. Mm. But to be fair, he only been stopped one time, and that's by Tank Davis. Mm. So, depending on how Keyshawn do with him, it'll tell us a whole lot about Keyshawn. And, it, and it'll tell us if he's learning from his previous experiences. Okay. Now, does he need to get a stoppage in there? Like, because a lot of guys, like, Tank's the only dude to stop him. A lot of guys went the distance. Uh, Pedraza gave tough fights. The only mistake I feel like Keyshawn making, moving a little too fast. Mm. Not too fast, but it's like a little bit because you're not all the way comfortable. Mm. And and I'm not saying you should be all the way comfortable before you take a guy like Pedraza. But what I'm saying is, it's too much pressure in boxing and on these young guys to chase knockouts. When one, you might not be a big knockout puncher like mm. you think you are. Mm. You can't base it off them guys that you fought that have been knocked out before. You can't base it off of that. A guy like a guy like Pedraza, you can base it. But if he say things like, I ain't going in there looking for a knockout, I'm looking for the win. Um, I understand that Pedraza is an experienced guy, and I'm just looking to be better that night. Then that's cool. But if he start talking that gorilla shit like he was talking to Naya Albright, that's when people, that's when you get the backlash. Mm. Because like, he was talking that crazy shit. And then you ain't doing nothing but just going there and survive and win the fight. Mm. Now, that's the objective, yeah. But if you speak like that in the beginning, nobody will be like, all right. They'll be like, all right, young boy, you all right. I like mm. you. You know what I'm saying? But Keyshawn kind of opened up a big can for himself. So now every time he fight, people paying attention and people being critical of him because of how he talk. Mm. You know what I'm saying? His, his, demeanor, his demeanor changed immediately right after the fight with Albright. Mm. And that's because he knew he said all the shit he said. But your demeanor wouldn't have to change if you watch what you say, if you respect the sport. I'm not saying he don't, but he getting past all the funny games. He getting past that. Now it's just like bite down time. So I think this camp, you're going to focus more on biting down and staying sharp and really doing damage and try to get Pedraza out of there. But I think he's going to hold back a little bit on the shit talk, just a little bit.